welcome to the ASPTricks.net session. Today we are going to explore the dynamic data masking. This is the new feature since SQL Server 2016. So the topics which we are going to cover are what, what is DDM, why, why we should use dynamic data masking, third one is how, how we should use in a, it our application fourth one is demo we will have some demo and then the last one we will have some small session for the limitation and knowing more about the ddm so moving towards the next which is what what is ddm dynamic data masking is a new features in sql server 2016 that helps to prevent sensitive data to explore by masking it to non-privileged users. So let's see how it works. If we have some data into the table, the data is so confidential like credit card information, salary and the email of the customer and we do not want to expose it to non-privileged users. So in that case, how DDM is going to help us? it will mark all the data with a certain rule now we can see in the second tables how credit card information has been marked with the xxx and with the same salary we have some random value for the salary and for the email we have xxxxx.com which is masked so why ddm TDM limits explores of sensitive data as we have shown in the figure and the second one is complementing of auditing. If we want some kinds of auditing for any another users in that case DDM can prevent to expose the essential data. Second one is encryptions. If somehow we are unable to achieve the encryptions we can use DDM and third one is row level security how it works so we have something like four inbuilt functions that we could apply over the columns and we can mask the data let's see the first one first one is default the default functions automatically add the x attacks or 000 based on columns types so for the strings it would automatically add the xxx for the big int and float it would automatically mark with the 000, 000 and the same like with some default value for the date time second one is email it's automatically replace the domain name to xxx or we can add here some prefix and the suffix with the email data third one is random what random does we can specify some random value within the range and the data would be replaced with the random value the fourth one is partial here we could have our custom strings like some data length some values some prefix we can add here so now let's move into the accents and let's see how the demo works so in the demo we are going to create a tables we will apply the masking on the columns and we will face the details so you can download all the demo code from this link by clicking this links you will have script like this so let's say in the actions here I have opened the SQL Server Management Studio and what I am going to do I am going to create a simple tables here is the confidential tables in which we have ID, name, credit card information, salary and the emails the same as we have shown in the figure so I have created a tables with the ID, name, credit card information, salary and, and now I am going to apply the masking rules over the confidential table credit card so we are going to use partial functions in which we are applying the rules that we will have 
द फर्स्ट टू लेटर्स ऑफ द क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड द लास्ट फोर लेटर्स ऑफ द क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड ऑल द मीट टर्म्स वुड बी एक्स 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 so i just applied the masking over the credit card columns then we are going to apply with the salary so salary would be randomly picking with between the 1000 and 5 times 9 so i have also applied the masking over the salary tables and then afterwards uh, the default email functions we are going to apply on the email column of the confidential table so just moving towards and uh, i'm going to insert some value there so like credit card information dummy information and um, we have executed the same let's see how it is looking in the confidential tables with the select statements so here we have all the data okay so because we have logged in here with the windows account so the users have been all the access of the database that is why it is we are not able to see the mark data so what i am going to do i am going to create a new user that is web users so we are going to create new users and will grant access for the confidential table to the web users so i have just created a web users so here we are that it already exist so the user is already exist and and uh, i have applied the grant access to the confidential table for the web users and now what the same editors we have set at the execute as web users so now the query which we are going to run will return the marks data so here we are now what we do i just reverted the accounts so again after the reverting the accounts we can see we have the same data so we can create a simple procedures with the execute as users having the unmasked access and we are reverting the same so what we are going to do we are going to create the procedures okay so somehow we have already created the procedures so by executing the procedures we can see always we are getting the mask data so if we'll try to execute the select statements here with the normal users we are getting normal data but with the procedures we we are executing the query with the web users so that is why here we are getting mark data so these are the basic syntax which we could use with the ddm here uh, are the syntax by using which we can grant like masking and unmasking to the web users we can also drop the marks on from the columns so this is how it works so it's very simple by using these features you can easily mark the data let's see here we have some limitations for the ddm so it not works with the encrypted columns with the binary columns and also uh, cannot be a key for a full text index here is the reference all the credit goes to microsoft document you can find out all about the dynamic data masking here hope you enjoyed this session thank you thank you very much